What's up, guys? Ron Moore here, back with another episode. We're at Lead Fit Healthy Headquarters. We're at Fundamental Fitness Conditioning. Got a special video. Today, we're going to discuss what to eat when you're at a restaurant and in the event that they don't have a website which has a calorie set beforehand. So, stay tuned. Got lots to learn today. It's going to be a quick episode. All right, guys. So, I have one of my clients who comes in FFC, very, really solid question. They asked on Facebook, when we, we go out to restaurants that we don't know exactly how many calories you get, or you can't tell how many calories there are in food, how do we make that decision and inform lean fit healthy decision? Well, you know, I like to keep it easy and breezy. We like to keep it light. I like to think of it, depending on the social setting, if you're hanging out with friends and family, uh, or if you're in a, in a setting like a business meeting and you just don't want to get a salad because salads are probably your best bet. But having said that, you have to be very mindful of what comes on the salad. So I would start off, if you're up for feeling up, feeling up for a salad, I like to go with a Cobb salad. That way you get some protein in there and make sure that the dressings are on the side. I don't like croutons personally, so I don't even, that doesn't even become the issue. So that's always a good option. If you're a meat eater, if you like meat, then I would get a seven ounce steak. For females, you know, usually what I would tell them is just cut that in half and save it for later. And then also veggies on the side. You know, it's very tough to portion control when you have no idea of how many calories are in food. And just going by guesswork is tough because you don't know what the chef's gonna put in those environments. So I would have that. I would either have steak and veggies on the side I would have, if they have fish, that's also a great option, but be very mindful of the sides you go with. I like to keep it simple. I mean, it's very hard to, if you've got those grilled vegetables, not a lot can go wrong. I mean, depending on how they, they grill it or if they fry it up, whatever they do. So grilled vegetables are your best bet. I opt out not to have a side. I don't go with the bread ahead of time because I personally don't like bread. Soups are also a great option. But the caveat is not a cream-based soup, so like a chicken soup and maybe a minestrone soup or like an Italian wedding soup. I think that's a soup, right? I don't know if I'm, it's, it's kind of early right now. So that's about it, guys. When you're going to restaurants, if there's no, if on Fitness Pal, there isn't, you know, it's not, it's like a, one of those mom and pop restaurants or those restaurants that don't have, it's not a major chain. They don't have those calories on either their website or on my fitness pal keep it easy and just get a grilled meat get it on a salad or grilled vegetables and try to be mindful of the sides so that's about it guys this is a follow-up post to that pre-commitment if you haven't watched that video that's really important that's a strategy lean fit healthy principle that we use when you're out and about if you're going to fast food restaurants or if you're just going to have dinner at a restaurant one of those big chains pre-commitment is really important so check out that video if you haven't yet and as always make a decision and a commitment to getting in the best shape of your life make it happen